What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Realignment Special. Today, we're going to talk about the uh, realignments that have taken place and uh, will we'll go into effect starting uh, next season in the NHL. Uh, start off with Conference A. Let's uh, call it the Gretzky Conference. Uh, Anaheim, Calgary, Colorado, Edmonton, LA, Phoenix, uh, San Jose, and Vancouver. I like that a lot. Pretty pretty balanced from uh, 1 through 8. Uh, Conference B, Chicago. We'll call this the Howe Conference. Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, Detroit, Minnesota, Nashville, and St. Louis. Oh, and Winnipeg. Yeah, so called the Howe Conference. Cause, or, I mean, even the Hall. It can be a double Hall. Actually, triple Hall when you think about it. Uh, Bobby Hall played for, obviously, Chicago and uh, in Winnipeg. And Pratt played for uh, St. Louis, obviously. So, kind of works to both of them. But let's, let's stick with Howe. Got to miss the hockey. <laughs> Conference C, or as I call it, the AL East. Uh, the Bruins, uh, Buffalo, Florida, uh, Montreal, Ottawa, the Lightning, and uh, Toronto, like I said, Boston, Tampa Bay, and uh, Toronto. Might as well be the AL East. We should put uh, the Rangers or Islanders and uh, the Capitals in the If I had my throws, make it the AL East. Uh, we'll talk about that. I'll probably do another episode on if uh, we could realign it like baseball, which uh, would be, be pretty fun. Have an American and National League or... Uh, you know, something like that. Oh, that's that's another story for the time. Because they realize hockey does have an American and National League, just on uh, on obviously different levels. Uh, and then Conference D, we'll call this the uh, the old new conference: uh, Carolina, New Jersey, uh, the Islanders, the Rangers, Philly, uh, Pittsburgh, and Washington. Um, I like Conference C the best, obviously, because my two teams are in it, the the Bruins and the Lightning, and I, I, I kind of, they did this, I'm going to sound, I don't want to word it, um, part of the reason they put the Bruins and the Maple Leafs and uh, the Canadians and the Senators in the same conference as the two Florida teams is because of the number of Snowbirds that go from the north and live down south and still maintain their loyalties to the hometown team. You're looking, you're looking at one. Uh, you know, I've always, I've grown to love the Lightning. That they're my number two team. Uh, well, I liked Tampa before I came down here. I, I liked, uh, you know, obviously Marty and Vinny, but that's a different story entirely. Uh, you know, my loyalties remain to the Bruins first and foremost, and uh, I'm gonna have more opportunity to see the Bruins play down here and uh, establish a, a rivalry with the Lightning that, uh, you know, revs my engines living down here. You know, the Sox Rays have developed an outstanding rivalry over the years. Uh, Tampa's won the <clears throat> last couple ones, uh, last couple blows of uh, that fight. But, uh, you know, I, you know, that's what you you, you need, a good old Boston-Tampa Bay rivalry. It's about the Pats and Bucks were in the same uh, division instead of that joke team in Miami. But, uh, oh, I never named Conference C, the Bobby Orr Conference, because, you know, or I mean, oh, it would be the Bobby Orr Conference, like my throwers. Well, if I had my throwers, all four conferences, the Bobby Orr, the Phil Esposito, the Ray Bork, and the Cam Neely conferences. But I don't I don't control the NHL. And uh, every highlight goal out there will be, you know, five, every top ten in uh, in NHL history in terms of goals will be five Bobby Orr's, three Cam Neely's, an Espo, and a uh, Nifty Middleton. So, But uh, that's, a, that's a different story entirely, too. But so we're going to have the Gretzky... How or and Lemieux conferences. Now I don't know how the Montreal Canadiens would feel playing in the Or conference, but fuck them. Seriously, seriously. Like, I mean, oh, we'll make it the Le Fleur conference. Well, you know what, guys? I think having the Bobby Or conference balances it out because you're gonna have the Gretzky conference, the How conference, the Or conference, and the Lemieux conference. All right, maybe make a goalie in there somewhere. Uh, so you get all the, the different positions covered, but, um, you know, I, uh, the Bobby Orr Conference champion Montreal Canadiens, that, that would just be weird, but that's the nature of the beast in the NHL, obviously, back in the, uh, day, it was the Norris, Smythe, uh, Campbell, and what was the other one? Patrick. Obviously, those four conferences, and that's a possibility to go back to. Uh, I'd like to see more entertaining divisional names than just East, West, North, Central. Uh, Pacific, I mean, the Pacific Division is probably the only entertaining one uh, that, that has any you know cool creative value to it, uh, if you will. 
But, um, you know, the playoff format still have not been finalized. Um, and 17 conferences, teams will play each other six times. Total of 36 in a division games. And the 18 conferences, teams will play each other five or six times. Rotate on a base on a rotating basis. Uh, I think it's a very certainly good for our fans in almost every market. Says David Poyle, the top four teams in each conference will qualify for the playoffs. The first place in each conference would play the fourth place team in the same conference. The second place would play the third team. The four respective conference champions will meet in the third round. The survivors play of the Stanley Cup. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So we two divisional rounds and then top four. So 16 like usual. So hypothetically, uh, let's say Conference A, Anaheim, and I'm just going to spit all this, Anaheim, Calgary, Colorado, Edmonton in that order. Anaheim beats Edmonton, Colorado beats Calgary, Colorado, be wow, it's actually, it's, huh. Then you, on the they receded in the third round. That's pretty cool. I I do like that. I like that a lot. So two divisional playoff games and then two divisional playoff series, and then uh, then the the Stanley Cup semifinals instead of the the conference finals. That is pretty cool. I really 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 like that. Um, that's focus on the fact two conferences, only seven teams, as well as two with eight. And they're also talking about possible expansion to make it for uh, eight team conferences. First of all, I'm gonna make sure we're we gonna figure out where Phoenix is playing. That's kind of the wild card team and all this because they could be playing at Hamilton or Quebec City next year, and they're, they're looking at a realistically uh, expand into Quebec City and or Houston. So that's something to think about um, with the new CBA and all that shit. We probably won't have it right away, but by 2015, I think realistically there'll be a team, uh, at least one more in another Canadian market. Um. And one more in an American market, whether or not a team relocates, uh, you know, Phoenix, National, one of those guys, which I hope neither one of them do. I just like both teams, but, um, you know, relocation is a realistic possibility for a lot of these teams. And uh, this format leaves open the possibility of those teams relocating without causing a drastic shift in divisions uh, in conferences, i.e., Winnipeg this year. I think it's total bullshit that uh, Florida, the Lightning, and, uh, you know, the four divisional teams got to go up there. Three times here, it's just not fair. And on the same note, it's not fair to Winnipeg having to play, you know, three games in Tampa, three games in Miami, three games in Carolina, and three games in Washington. It's like, come on. You know, I think the NHL, what I would have done this year is put them in the um, Central Division for now. Oh, no, no, the Northwest Division. Put Minnesota in the Central Division, and then... But Nashville had, had transferred them to the Eastern Conference and to have them take Atlanta's spot in the, in the Southeast Division just as a stopgap measure until they can come up with this thing. That way it cuts down on travel costs and uh, gets Nashville um, in a position where they're playing against more geographic rivals, if you will. I mean, I'm assuming... I know their closest rival, their closest geographic team was Atlanta, obviously isn't anymore. Um, but I'm assuming Carolina's the closest one to Nashville. Oh, it's probably St. Louis, but... Raleigh gonna be a close second, um, you know. And they don't play them, you know, on a consistent basis. So I think that's a, you know, the NHL missed out a chance or two, um, red, a redneck rivalry, if you will, between Nashville and Carolina. But uh, they missed out on that again. But this is a whole different format. So we'll see how it all works out. I'm really excited to see, you know, uh, Boston and Tampa or Boston, uh, Florida playoff series, something like that, you know. So. That's it for the power play of CJ for the realignment special. Stay tuned for more episodes, boys and girls.